Hi, hi. I'm not even sure I'm here on time. It's craziness, craziness, I tell you. So we're having fun in the sandbox. I was doing a thing on my page, I guess we'll transfer. And then I forgot to post the picture that says, you know, come to Wednesday whimsy. And, and it was like, which, which transfer am I gonna use? And then it was like five minutes later, I got a, it's wander. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of entomology. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with that idea. And what's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Linda. We have a store on Main Street in um, Hyannis, Cape Cod, Mass. And hi, Barbara. Hi, Desiree. So, um, you know, I got an order in. It's just, it's just craziness. And if you guys know, we're playing the sandbox and this is, this is how we roll here. And hi, Diane. Hi, Judith. And we're just, we're, we're doing it. We're, we're playing in the sandbox and we're, we're getting it done. So let me know what you guys are all doing. If I can get this video to um, come up, it would be great because then I can see your, your comments. I am by myself tonight, so it is what it is. I hope I lock the door. I did put do not disturb on, yay me. So yeah, we're gonna be working with Wander. Oh, and you know what just dawned on me? I went to go grab something and I got a little distracted. So hi, Oklahoma. Hi, Wanda. And so let me just, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, not used to this, but oh well, we're gonna make do with a pen to open up our transfer. Because I actually don't have any of these open. So that's how we're doing it. That's just how we're doing it. We got a lot of IOD goodies in, and you ladies, if you're watching, are you any first timers? Let me know if you're any first timers watching because um, we've got some stockists on here. Diane is, um, I didn't see everyone else, um, but I'm just trying to get this up because it wouldn't click on the link before. So let's try it again. It's just, you know, weird things like that happen to me. It seems like it's, it's just how it is. First timer, yay, Lisa, welcome, welcome, welcome. So if you're new to this, we have a link in the description so you can find your nearest stockist if you don't know where they are. Hi, Wanda, welcome. And you guys, you, if, are, have you um, joined the Creative Tribe page? Because if you haven't, you really should. It's full of, of, of information and people sharing ideas and just everyone helping each other out and that's what we're all about okay so as you see i just opened it out of the package it took me a while but we got it done you know and you see it's rolled up and, and it has this little transfer tool right in there okay and if, if you're anyone that likes to use transfers you're going to want to have an arsenal of these tools because you'll be surprised how fast they, they disappear isn't this cute isn't this cute one of our one of our IOD um, customers made this for me to cook because I'm always losing the transfer sticks. Hi, Jer Jersey! Wow, how are you? Another first timer. This is awesome. So this is the transfer. It is beautiful. It's sort of like watercolor, very free art sort of, isn't that stunning? Oh my gosh. And so we're gonna, we're gonna cut this baby up just because we can. We're gonna cut it up and I'm still trying to get you on so I can see more comments. And um, of course, I had to get the scissors anyways, didn't I? Oh my gosh, really, if the head wasn't there, ladies. It would, you know, if it wasn't attached. So, I am so sorry. Okay, okay, so sorry. Huh. Scissors, I always have them with me, but I don't have my normal work table. And so we're, we're, we're kind of doing this on the fly. So I have my scissors, we're gonna be cutting this up. When you get the transfers for the first time, make sure this white backing stays behind the the the, um, the carrier sheet with the with the uh, transfer on it 
Um, what that's doing is it's keeping it all clean, okay? Because the transfer part does have um, adhesive on the back, and any little dust or anything, it's gonna pick it up. So that's also why it's very important for not only to keep your, your transfer clean, but for your surface to be clean as well. So let's go to our surface, all right? So I have applied, um, I've prepped it, I cleaned it, I painted it in a couple coats, and I sealed it. Now it has some funkiness to it. I don't know if you guys can tell, it has these foils. And I literally did, on a whim, because this is how I roll, did this on a, um, this afternoon, because I just, it, it, I keep adding to my projects because they kind of talk to me sometimes when I'm going with them. So, and I also see we did a little color blending. We have more of the foils. So if you're interested in the foils, you can go on my page and you can see what I did. Um, I just did it really quick. It's not a lengthy video at all, but basically, you put this adhesive down and you take a little scrub brush and you're rubbing it on and you pull it off and yeah. But if you're interested, just check out the video. We're here for Iron Orchid. So let's see how we're going to do this. So this is sealed. It is clean. Okay. We just got this all done and cleaned up and, and we're going to just start piecing together what we want to do. So there is some red because the table that I had, um, got, with people I got this from, they had spray painted it a lovely red and it's great for some coastal um, things, but not so much um, what I wanted to do with it. So I'm going to start cutting. And again, if you can keep the the trans the backing with the with the transfer, okay. And I'm just gonna cut this around like this because I want to use that red one because there's red showing through. So here's here's the part. It has these little pieces of tape holding your backing to your transfer. I forgot to mention that. So that's nice. When you pull it out and you un unwind it, um, you're not going to lose the backing paper because it is taped to um, tape to your transfer. Okay. But we're rolling with this, so let's do it. Um, let's see. Still trying to get the live to show up. And we're going to keep this with this. When we get closer, we can start, you know, manipulating these without the backing. But um, depending on your surface, that backing will want, if it's on like a glass or window of all, at all, it will want to stick like pronto. So be careful with that. Um, so I think we're gonna do, let's try this. See, you can cut these up. Don't be afraid to cut these up and make them your own. Otherwise, this would never have looked great on um, on a round table because it's obviously not very round. Actually, we're going to keep this with this. If you have any questions, if I'm not seeing it, I will certainly get to it. And the stockists that are watching, they can also help you. And again. If you, if you have a local stockist that you're working with, please continue to work with them. But if you don't know of one yet, go to the link that's in the description to find your nearest um, retailer. All right, so that's looking good. And then we're going to fit maybe that because it has some of that in the, in the what I want to separate the blue. So maybe we'll put that over there. Okay. I'm just talking my thought process aloud because that's, you know, that's just what I do. And hopefully that comes up. Finally, I'm getting it up on the computer so I'll be able to see the comments better. So, hi Paula, hi Mara. How's everyone doing tonight? I can't wait to see what Mara's got. Um, tomorrow is retail vintage, uh, re Vintage, vintage retail therapy? Am I saying that right, hon? 
see, I'm gonna cut this here. I'm not sure I need to separate these, but we're just gonna do it. This all kind of needs to go together here. And I like to make, when I'm cutting these, cut it to like a leaf shape, sort of. Okay. You know what, I think I'm not gonna use that one here. So we're gonna cut this little kind of beanstalky looking thing out. I got a lot of colors going on in this table and that green is not talking to me. So I don't need to keep it. We can cut around it and that's what we do. And then we're gonna cut carefully around this leaf because I wanna save the red one. Kidoki. I'm just trying to keep my transfer out of harm's way because you know what? There's a lot of harm here. There's a lot going on. Um, oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, you know what? We, we can always get the Franz Botanical. Ah, I don't have one open and I'm not going through that again, but that would be nice as a little fill some of the um, leaves from that. I have some in my little, my little, um, you, when you have leftover parts of your transfers, you need the ones that are new to um, all this wonderful goodies, hold on to all your scraps of these transfers. You'd be surprised what you can do with the scraps, okay? We're gonna put this up in here, I think, somehow, because it's smaller. I'd rather see the smaller, more interior. Let's get this right here okay we're gonna cut this right here okay sorry I didn't realize you couldn't see so we're gonna cut this right here is anyone here afraid of cutting the transfers I think some people feel like they're not creative enough to do this Literally, if, especially like if you want to start small and do it in smaller clusters, you can slowly add on. So it's not as scary if you don't have the vision right away. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay, and so like here, this little petal meets right into the leaf. So I'm just gonna cut at the leaf, at the, well, at the bud, I should say, not the leaf, the bud. And then I'm gonna go and reshape that after. Okay. And then you know what? This isn't gonna even be noticed. So we're gonna cut this, even though the leaf cuts into the petal. That time I had the word right. Yay me. I hope that makes sense. So here is where a leaf cut into the petal. When everything's said and done, I don't think you're gonna know what that was. It's all gonna just be part of the picture. And then this one, it went into another flower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of, where is it? This one, I almost did the wrong one. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of give this a little more shape so it's not so blunt. And then there was something else here, I thought. Oh, all right. So let's see, we can put, let's spread out the red. Spread the love of the red. Okay, we're gonna put this one here. Can we all see that? Okay. And then we can put maybe that in there. It's making sense now. It's coming together now. You know, I really like this flower, so. This daisy's gonna have to get, there's a daisy here, right here. Lois, you should try them. You see me doing this, it, it, you're cutting it up, but you can use it as a whole, which actually makes, you know, goes on much simpler because you're just using the whole piece. Um, they're large size, so they're great to go like on the front of a bureau
but I'm just kind of trimming around these leaves. Okay, around this petal. Okay, and then we're just gonna cut this out. And we're gonna use what we use. But when you're using it all together, you're just gonna, it, the, you'll see how these apply super quick, super easy. Okay. And just because this orange one has gotta be part of it, let's just do it. Okay, so we, now we have some scraps here. We might be able to use them to fill this one or maybe we'll use it on, on, on a random project later. Save the scraps. The white is the backing, yes. So you see they come off. Thank you. See they come off. And this will come off the sheet. But we're keeping the white backing on so that we don't have an accidental um, sticking of the transfer happen, if you know what I mean. Because they are sticky and they want to adhere to something, if you give them something to adhere to, they're going to do it. So, okay. And let's start putting some down and see where we go. We have lots of this left, okay? Look at how much we have left. Okay. Tons. All right. Let me put this away so it's not going to get dirty. And let's start putting this on. So this I'm pretty happy with. So this foil that went down, I was a little brazen. I started to explain, and I, and I did it this afternoon. It's, I have to be careful that these don't stick to that because it is still tacky. And note to self, if you're ever doing the foils, it's kind of interesting because um, you, you tend to get the adhesive on your hand, so I had to clean really well. All right, so now I've got a placement here. And if I was using the whole sheet, I would really wait to the last minute to take this backing off. But these small parts, that's what's nice about doing them when you cut them up. You, you have a little more play time. All right, so now I'm just going to kind of do an initial rub just to get it to kind of stay down. If you want, you can tape them down with the blue tape. Whatever works for you. If you're using it on a larger surface, I suggest you try laying it flat on something horizontal if you can. Um, and then once this starts to stick, it's easy peasy. And now it's really humid today. Like everyone else, you know, the weather is just, whew. And I, as you can hear, I do have um, air conditioning on, but you know, it's not until I do the show that the, 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 the whole oven turns on, you know? So it is what it is. But. Sometimes I hear, you know, people say that the transfers are a little more temperamental with um, heat and humidity. If you do have a problem, I hear putting them in the freezer works well. I haven't had really real issues. Um, I think it's more in, in prep. You know, keeping your surface clean, make sure it's good and dry. And, you know, other than this, this is not very, very dry, but I'm not putting transfers on the foil. Um, Everything's been cured and, and it's sealed. Depending on the paints that you use, there's been debate. Oh, when do I use sealer? When do I not use sealer? You know what? Use the sealer if you don't know how the transfers are gonna work. If you're working with a retailer and they have a paint line that you're using, talk with them. Say, you know, do I have to seal when I'm using, you know, yada, 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 paint brand. And Iron Orchid Designs is Switzerland when it comes to paint brands. It doesn't matter what paint. All the stockists have great paints 
and they all know the ins and outs on working with IOD products. So it's really good to get a relationship with your local stockist um, or even an online stockist. You can go to that same link if you don't see one, anyone too local to you. Go to that same link, but you can go up to the tab up on the top of the page of the Iron Orchid Designs site under the Find a Retailer and click Online Stores. And then you'll see a listing in different countries and everything as far as um, where to get the trans, you know, your, your transfers or your molds or your stamps or the inks. I mean, there's so many great products. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get this to, to, get, to stay down. I want it to be burnished. So you see me talking, and I keep rubbing. And you'll be like, geez, why doesn't she just stop it already? She just keeps talking and rubbing. Well, that's the most important part. If you, you know, anyone reporting problems, it's really important to make sure you're doing your due diligence, okay? This is, this is the problems. It's the clean surface, sealed surface, a well-cured surface, and then burnishing, okay? Making sure it's all burnished really well. Okay, so I like to just take a piece of this carrier sheet and just go over everything. And if you want, you could take like a fine grit, 220 grit or, you know, sandpaper and you can distress these and give it, you know, a whole nother look. You can layer them. I mean, this is what we did in a workshop one day. And it's, oh, I'm making a mess here. But let me show you. Okay, it's got the Be Thou My Vision. It's got Redoubt, redoubt however you say that. Um, over and you can actually see the lettering coming through because it was distressed and then we have some of the iron orchid design crackle stamp in, um, in a turquoise ink over that or, or a paint it works with ink it works with paint you know all right so let's do we got blue we got blue um, let's do it like this. This is so fun. Tell me you, you can't have fun doing this. Tell me you can't have fun doing this. And then we might layer this over that somehow and we'll find some pieces for that. Right? Who loves this? Who loves this? I know, Lois, it's a really pretty color. Um, and you know what, I can't even tell you, uh, I could tell you it's called Ocean Spray, but it's not from a paint brand that exists anymore. It's a paint brand that I used to have. So we've been trying to find a new one. So I can tell you that much. It's really pretty. So should we do it that way? I think I like it like this. I like it like that. Okay. We're sticking with that. You don't have to overthink these, to tell you the truth, because you can, you know, go all Picasso. On. Hear that sound? Hear, hear. You hear that crinkly sound? That's a good sound to have. Any Anyone that works with transfers can tell you. That's this little air bubble catching underneath, and I'm riding it, that little air bubble, and that that tension of you know the transfer wanting to stick to the surface and then this air bubble pulling it off of it to let it stick to the surface is your golden ticket okay that will make your life so much easier and sometimes to get that bubble you have to kind of lift it up see where you're at okay oh look at that as long as nothing moves, that cracked right there. Do you see this? But if it doesn't move, I can go right over it, and you won't see where that was. I can't see it. I'm right here. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. All right? So, But if it did move a little bit, because sometimes when you're move, working with the whole sheet of transfer, it can adjust a little bit. And you're working, if you're working with drawers and things like that, you know, things happen, and you get a little crack here or there. There's things you can do for that. You could distress more, 
okay? And, and make it part of the look. You can take a piece of a flower or another transfer and you could put that over it or a stamp. There's way, or take a, um, a paint, find a sim very similar color and just kind of make the connection. And I'll, you know what, when there's so much going on, I doubt anyone's gonna say, oh, what happened here? You know what I mean? Oh, hi, Joanne, thank you, thank you. Thank you, hun. What are you up to? It is, isn't it, Susan? It's very addicting. It's kind of, it's therapeutic, like we always say. And in times like this, I mean, you could sit here and, you know, add a quick paint, you know, to your, to your table or just, you know, get an old piece of art that you have in your house. Although if it's on canvas, because we're rubbing, you're gonna to wanna to support the back of your canvas with like a book or a board or something. But, you know, jazz up your house and it's, and it's, and it's something you'll enjoy. It's like doing a puzzle, you know, if you enjoy reading a book or crafting at all. It's just, and then you can get the ones that are just the black. Have you seen those? They're called paintables because you can paint them after. Thank you, Carol, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Oh, South Mississippi. So are you like ungodly hot there too? Sometimes, again, remember, you can lift, and that's enough to give you that tension sometimes, and it can give you that air bubble you're looking for. So don't be afraid to lift it every now and then. Just try, you know, if you want perfection, try not to move it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I love this little rolling cart. I'm actually kind of overdoing it, but it's just kind of fun. So this one actually moved a little bit. I'm just lining it back up with its petal. And now you can't tell. Okay. And I'm telling you, the foils are fun. Just think outside the box sometimes and don't fret about this, okay? If we're all here to help you, all the stockists, the sisters have all the, the videos. We all have videos. We're always available. You know, we're just here to help, okay? And you have questions, reach out, okay? But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of doing this. Now look at this. This is starting to already look like it was meant to be. And then you want, you know what? If you want to glaze it, you can do that. Although I'm liking how this is kind of chipper. Um, I probably won't glaze it. I got a lot going on with the foils. So I'm gonna keep it nice and bright and happy because I like happy today. Tomorrow I might not like happy, but today I like happy. Who else is like that? <laughs> Hi, Joe. That would be my husband. He's home with the puppies. Okay, so again, we're trying to get this air bubble to work for us. Come on, lift it up, let's get this working. There, yes. And it's funny, sometimes you think I got an air bubble, but you don't. It's like, what? And I'm not, it's not like I'm gonna get, you know, six pack arms doing this. It's the beer guzzle arms. It, it just, if you can get that bubble to do the work for you, that's the trick. And you gotta burnish and then you're gonna seal it afterwards. I like to do a couple coats and whether you're using a varnish, a water-based varnish, I wouldn't use any oil-based. It's too harsh, I think, for the, for the, um, the material. Um, but you can always, if, you never, if you're not sure, work with your local stockist or use the contact form in Iron Orchid Design and they're happy to answer any uh, technical questions through their email. All right. And look at how pretty this is 
getting to be. Okay. Now the last time Joe saw this table, it was just kind of blue. There was a portion in the center that I kind of left because it needed to get sanded some more. Okay, so this is the one where we did some funky cutting. Okay, the funky called cutting in there. So when it's all said and done, you're not, you're not seeing where I cut this leaf, this petal. You're not seeing that there's a leaf coming into here. All right. Let's do some more. I love playing in the sandbox. All right. Joanne in England was saying, but what happened to the sandbox earlier today? I'm always playing in the sandbox, Joanne. Right, Paula? Joe's mom is good. She's good, honey. Thank you. How was Maine? How was your birthday? Everyone say, wish Paula a belated happy birthday, please. She's very sweet. Paula is the gal who, who made my, my, my little tool trove chest carrier thing, whatever we're calling it. What is it? What do we call it? Caddy. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just initially rub this down. Okay, now we're going to try and get some air bubbles to do the work for us. There. That's one thing I think when you're working in the smaller sections like this, I think sometimes it is harder to get that air bubble because you you don't have a lot to pull from. But once you get it and you start getting it down, you know, now I have all this to get some air under there. Okay? But don't get frustrated. Just make sure you're prepping right, that everything's clean, that it's sealed, that it's cured. Now, to tell you the truth, I have done transfers on this table without sealing this paint that I had. It didn't require sealing. It went on very well. Um, but some paints do different things. Some have some sort of off-gassing happening. Some are just too minerally and they have, you know, particles that, you know, could interfere with, you know, the transfer. And so, you know, just to be safe, if you don't know, just go ahead and give it a seal. And what that means is, um, you know, something like a de-wax shellac would work really well because it, it, it's going to seal and bond with the surface. Um, but you know, if you're using um, a light color, you wouldn't want to do that because it's the shellac will turn your surface like an amber color. So, um, but anything that, that that's a seal coat, bonding coat, would work. Okay. Again, work with your stockist. Um, you might not even have to do that part. Have a tough time getting this bubble to stay with me. <laughs> it just keeps going over to a side that I don't want it to go to. Only because I only had to do this transfer today, right? And I was going to have a done project that it's going to be a little wonky. That's okay. Nothing's perfect. I know, right? You're playing and you can't stop. I have had so many people that are just so thrilled, you know, coming into the shop and discovering Iron Orchid. And I have a ton of fun with it. Just like any of the stockists, any of the retailers that of IOD, because we just, we love it. All right, so let's get this. It just doesn't wanna give up. There we go. Ha ha. See, I think my surface is a little sticky from the humidity and that carrier sheet was just loving to hug it. There's half our problem probably. There. Okay. And and I hear music over here. I don't want there to be a problem with this. Oh, 
Let me turn this down. Okay. We had an issue with a relay videos this week, and I think it was because of my music that was playing. Even it was very softly, and I love my music, boy. So who would do something like this to their table? Give me hands, give me some hearts. Who would do something like this to your table? How about doing this to um, an old window that you can hang on the wall? You know, what do you do with the old windows? This is what you do, you paint it a pretty color on the frame if you want, clean it up with some like, um, I like to use just rubbing alcohol after maybe a Windex or something, depending how bad the window is. And um, put the transfer on. But it sticks like hotcakes to that, so you better know where you're putting it when you go to lay it down. Just, you know, just saying. Just giving you forewarning. If you haven't done it before, it likes to stick to glass, that's for sure. Okay. It's really hugging my surface. It loves my surface. It is muggy, muggy, muggy. All right, so I'm almost through this. I'm gonna get a peek at what it looks like without this sheet on here and see what we're gonna do and the rest of it. Oh, see, look at that little petal came off. It didn't move, put it back down and you can't see. This kind of came off too right here. I'm gonna rub that down and you're not gonna know the difference. Okay. It's all off now. This is coming out really nice, don't you think? I'm going to kind of trim this out a little bit closer to see how I can get it maybe with the, the ruffles of the pie crust table. Old window hang on your porch. You're going to have fun with that, Paula. It goes on super easy. I'm telling you. Alright, so... I did it here. You know what, we're gonna cut this leaf out. This one's bothering me. I like that flower too much to hide it. So we're gonna cut that. And I'm being careful to not touch the adhesive part of the transfer. We're gonna set this aside and it's gonna go in my little remnants bin. Or I might use it later, but there. See, now I can I don't mind the blue flowers going over it. Let's see. See, it's not quite lining up, but that's okay. It kind of gives homage to it, right? We're going to do that. And then the blue flowers are going to go somewhere else. Bye-bye flowers. Okay. And we got to get some backing to that too so it doesn't stick to something that I don't want it to. And there we go. get ourselves an air bubble now. See, now that's down. Yay. So Paula, I got the wood blinks in. I got, were you looking for clay, hon? Wait till you guys see the wood blinks. Oh my gosh. 
Did you see the video uh, where they did the, um, what do you call it? It's like, it's like a relic and, ooh, that's fun. I like that. Okay. That's going down right there, except for these leaves need to move. Okay. Um, so these wood blanks, they come in various sizes and you guys can like do your own gallery wall, but the, the possibilities are endless. I see tons of hostess gifts, holiday gifts, wedding gifts, shower gifts, like totally customizable. So, so fun. I'm just going to trim this out so we're not fighting the, um, the trim. Okay. All right. So let's do that. See how it's really coming together now? And when it's all said and done, you're not gonna know that this wasn't meant to be this way. I think that's the magic of, of doing these transfers is it's nice to be able to do them how you like to do it. Make it fit your piece. And seriously, anyone can do this. So let's see, I'm gonna trim this right here. Right, yeah, okay. All right. Now, let's get a bubble. Roll a bubble, Mr. Dale. Am I showing my age? Who else knows what that's from? Actually, I don't even know what it's from. My family said it all the time. What is that from? Roll it, Mr. Dale. Wish we lived near each other. A lot of mold as well. We could have fun playing. That's what it's all about, Beth. Playing in the sandbox. And you get to make something really pretty something useful. You know what I mean? That's what's the, that's the beauty of all this. And I'll tell you as being a retailer, I've made some great friends. Paula, she lives near me. Um, I have people, you know, in other parts of the world that we've, you know, we just, it's nice seeing each other on the videos and it's just, it's been a lot of fun. Creativity abounds. And it's, it's a nice camaraderie when people can share their love for something. Don't you think? Don't you think? I mean, we need more of this right now. Don't, it's crazy times, I know, and everyone's saying it. It's kind of getting old, but it is. It is. It's nice to have an outlet. there and we got, oh, I think we have to burnish that other one but I'm gonna go and burnish everything anyways because I'm talking and I know I'm not paying attention but before I seal it I'm gonna be rubbing everything down I don't think I'll be sanding it like I said I like that it's happy and cheerful the piece is a happy cheerful piece I don't think it needs glaze it's got a lot going on it's a busy table so here's the deal. I really wanted, the reason I made it a guessing game, like even when I went on my live this afternoon on my page, I was like, guess what transfer, guess what transfer, because I really wasn't sure, because this thing has been changing all along. And originally, as I say in my video, I wanted this to have the Japonica, because Japonica is, is gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous. Um, but here on the Cape, I mean, especially this time of year, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm a, I was a little intimidated with the geisha. But this was the, it was the inspiration for this piece. So I was, you know, I had the blue, which I thought would tie the, the, the coastal colors. It's like aqua soft muted blue. Um, and then, let's see, we can add these here.
and then I thought, well, how do I put the geisha on a round table? So then I thought, uh-oh. And so I was kind of, I didn't know what to do. I thought I was going to do this transfer, but there was options. There was botanist journal. I thought I thought I could go, you know, and do maybe the um, winter song, the wreath, and then color it because I had the pinks and the whites and the, and the, and the florals in the, in the japonica is, is like, they're gorgeous. They're drop dead gorgeous. But japonica on a round table for me, I just, I, I couldn't see it because which would be the front then? What if someone had to face their table another way? So then I decided to add these foils to kind of tie in more of the funkies and I brought out the reds because the table was a spray paint red. It was lovely. Um, <laughs> and notice how I say lovely, um, but you know, let's see, maybe there, maybe there, what do you think? It's almost, almost done. I need something here to kind of, it's a little lopsided there. Let's see, do I have any parts left here? No, all my cut parts are used up. So let's pull from our big transfer again. You know what, I really like this red. But you know what? I wonder, no. You know what, now this red isn't working for me. It's kind of like random, very random. I like it behind something else maybe. So let's pull, ah, these daisies. See these daisies here? What do you think? And maybe up to this blue flower. No, because that blue flower is there. So let's just do the daisies. So let's see, they're gonna go maybe like so. All right, just the daisies. I'm calling it. Let's see, that's how I roll. I'm sure there's some other people that just, you know, they got it all going on and know when they see where it's all gonna lie out. That's not how I roll. I need the inspiration. So I think that'll look cool. And then we need to add something in here and something in here so we're getting there I think we might get done with this one tonight ladies and then in gentlemen if any gentlemen are watching um, hmm we might do it we might I might do it. Oh, I'm getting the timer. I guess we're gonna call it quits here. We have 47 minutes. All right, I'm getting timed. Joe just chimed in on my security camera. So I'll keep playing. And I hope you all have a really beautiful week all right I hope you learned something I hope I hope I inspired you to do something um, just go out and create make a friend with your IOD stockist and just stay safe stay well stay beautiful and we just see you next week okay make sure you watch tomorrow for Mara and just about oh thank you Lois thank you thank you um, there's pretty much every day except for Saturday, someone is on IOD page doing a video showing you fun things. And make sure you, you find your local stockist in the, with a description and go to the uh, IOD Creative Tribe page. There's lots of people sharing ideas there. All right, you guys take care. Until next week, I hope to see you here next week, same time. Bye-bye.